farmer friend singer songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack of all trades Chris Horn. And we're Those Those Taste Bud Guys. Are having our guests set back there. The peanut gallery? No, like people were getting ready to have on, have them start back there, and then they could walk up, oh. almost like like you know, Johnny Carson. Uh, uh-huh. Johnny Carson's probably no. I'd, I'd say that Johnny Carson's in the aid group of most of the people that watch this. Yeah, at least they'll know it's relevant. They know who he is. Yeah, it's relevant enough. Yeah, I don't think I ever saw Johnny Carson. Maybe once. I feel like I remember when Jay Leno took over. But I've seen Johnny Carson clips. I've just, I don't think I've ever seen him when he was like on, on. Um, I'm about 10 years older than you. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us one more time. I'm the old guy. That's not. And uh, we're those taste bud guys. <laughs> I'm catching up. I'm catching up. He's trying really hard. <laughs> the, the, the years are condensing. <laughs> <laughs> it, it gets quick. It really does. Ugh. Mine will start to slow down once my memory goes and I can't remember anymore. We've got a really high-priced premium tequila today, right? I think there's one back here on a shelf somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's not this one I've got in my hand. Yeah, but this is one that has, keeps popping up as a nice budget tequila it's but now we've done all over the place. We I did the rep. Do we still have that? No, I think we I think we polished that one off. Okay. Chuck. That makes sense because <laughs> it was actually pretty decent for just a super yeah. cheap tequila. This has been one of my go-to mixing tequilas for years. Now you're talking my speed. And it's I mean, you nobody's going to drink this and find that it's amazing, but I don't know why you would gripe about it for the price. Yeah, which I is how much this was? Which is like less than 20 bucks or right at 20 bucks kind of depending on where you get it. Yeah, I thought it was closer in that 15 range. It might be. So Buffalo's yeah. one this weird thing to where sometimes we get stuff a lot cheaper, Buffalo Trace, than the rest of the world and other times we pay Way more than the rest of the world. Let's just talk about prices real quick. Go, go I know, ahead. Dude. I, I know, know where you're going. Go I don't know at what point in time this video is coming out, but right now in Buffalo, Missouri. How do you not know? We got it on the calendar. Well, I mean, you it's know, two weeks from now. I'm not paying attention to the calendar. Um, Buffalo Trace right now in, in Buffalo, Missouri, you can buy for like 20, 23 bucks. 23 bucks. Is it 23 or 22? Well, 22, whatever. 200 bucks. Yeah, whatever. Low 20s. Um, <laughs> but Basil Hayden. Just regular Basil Hayden. Oh, that's white sick. label. This bottle. Standard. This bottle that anybody can pick up for $39 anywhere in the US of A. You can buy at our local grocery store for $92. <laughs> I God, I hope that's a mistake. Somebody told them this was a fancy, fancy whiskey. That's all I can say. <laughs> so nuts. Yep. Okay. Right. So we're working with the Hemador El Hemador Blanco. Right? Yeah. Or and silver. Is it silver? Well, yeah, I think it's just silver. Same thing? It's called. No. They can't call it Blanco because it's not a true tequila. Okay. This is, so, a, this is a mixto. So it is a mixto. Yeah. This is right over there with... Um, uh, um, Cuervo. Cuervo. Thank you. But now was the... Did we, I thought we had a repo. But this... We did. And this one does say 100% blue agave, but there's got to be some other stuff going on to make it not... Kosher. I don't know. We didn't. Last always, we didn't look at this crap up. We don't care. We just want. We just want to know what it tastes like. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> the rest of the provenance doesn't matter to us at the moment. Yeah. Which, to be fair, I wish you talk about that. I know you guys get on to us about not knowing all this stuff, but that's the whole point of our show. We're not buying it and drinking it because of the drinking it because of <laughs> its provenance or its name or its history. We just we want to see if it's any good, and we want people that otherwise wouldn't know. If we know that, oh, this bottle cost a hundred dollars and it's got all this you're history gonna like to it, it or you're, you're not gonna like probably it. It's probably gonna like it more, have higher expectations. And also I will so. say, in terms of all the provenance and the nom numbers and, and whether it's a traditional tequila yes, or not, whether nom. it has additives, all that stuff. Um, as you start drinking stuff, you find something that you like, you and get into you, it a little more. You right? follow that you know, trail. Like, all right, let's do it. But but in the meantime, Enjoy your night tequila. It's can fine. we drink it? <laughs> um, That's what this is, the nom is eleven nineteen. So if you okay. want to know, then there you go. You've got it. I think the whole channel should be called "Can We Drink It?" Can we? Can we tolerate <laughs> this shit? I went straight to tasting because I can't smell anything. I was gonna that. say, um, is there no nose on this? <sighs> I mean, either we got COVID in the last like three minutes, um, or 
There's Smells notes. like vodka. There's like zero notes to this. There's maybe a, a hint. Anything I think I smell could be the tequila I had in the glass before that. Oh, I swear. I mean, I rinsed it, but yeah. I did um, too, but... There's maybe like a little bubblegummy nose to it. I get like this hint of like mint. Yeah. I mean, it's just... Tastes like water. Pepper and honey. Yeah. It's, it's really... It's just... It's just as easy to drink. It's just smooth... It's got that black pepper note that coats your tongue just like Cuervo, but it's way smoother than Cuervo. Don't bite you as hard. Boy, and there's not much going on there. No, it's super easy. And if, if you're looking for something to kind of drink, I mean, get turnt on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a great mixer for that, especially if you're not necessarily into vodka and you don't want to taste nothing. This is so easy to drink yes. and has the pepper notes. And I... This I have been a, okay. I mean, I've been told by more than one person. Yeah, the comment always comes in. In Mexico, we drink El Himidor. Mm Hmm. I mean, how are you going to say you're wrong? <laughs> I mean, the same way they say in Missouri, we drink Bud Light. <laughs> I don't. But <laughs> I am not a person that shoots tequila shots, right? No. But if I was gonna. This would be the one to do. All right. So, is that is that the end of the review? Oh, I'll wait till the end of the review. Got any more to say? <laughs> I don't have a whole lot more to say other than a good shot. This is shooting. this is not a sipping tequila. Um, I don't. I but don't. It's like a, sipping it. But I think it's a good mixing. Well, I mean, this is a perfect example of why people complex. use lime and salt with their tequila. Yeah, and it's fine. You can do that. I if you like tequila. You can sip this. If you like quality tequila, you're not going to be happy with this. But on the same note, there's nothing wrong with it. This there's, is totally a good drinking There's tequila. literally nothing offensive about this. Or amazing. Yes. Yeah, it's just, it just exists. It is, it's fine. <laughs> and I will tell you right now, this is a tequila I keep at my house, or had in the past, kept at my house a lot to mix drinks with. It's kind of been replaced a little bit more recently, but I mean... What do you, I'd what go do you, back to it. What are you uh, mixing with right now? Um, I actually, right, <laughs> I'm, I'm, all I have is high-end tequila at my house right now. I don't mix with anything. <coughs> Nose in the air. Nose in the air. Sorry. <laughs> um, all right, yeah. Great budget tequila. Um, nothing necessarily right home about, but great for cocktails, great for shooting, great for getting... Well, let's face it, just getting fucked up on. That's just, it, this is... Man, we almost had a clean bill of health on this. Yeah, I know, so, I know. Well, we gotta, we gotta collect that little mark on YouTube that says... Yeah, we're gonna click it anyway, so... <laughs> Fuck it! <laughs> All right, until next time. Whether it be the tequila you're about to shoot. Oh, the food you're eating. Clothes you're wearing. People you're meeting. Wow, Strickland's clothes. Hey. Look at that. Grab a buddy and he, try... He left it laying too long. <laughs> something new.